welcome to Crawley Town. <laughs> Thank you. Um, why did you choose Crawley to be your first senior manager's role over other clubs? Um, well, first and foremost, after um, having numerous meetings with Salim um, and the way that he talked about the club, you know, his, their ambitions, uh, what this club means to not only him, but the people that work for this club, what it means to the community. You know, I'm a, I'm a big believer in family. Um, I have a big family myself. And be able to, to come to a club that has the same ambitions, but has that family feel as well, uh, was important to me, especially for my first, on my first job. So for me, that was important. And again, I'm very ambitious. And after speaking again, uh, with the with people at Crawley, their ambitions are, are high, and I like high ambitions. Um, so at the end of the day, it was a, it was a no-brainer for me. What will you be your goal as manager? My goal? <laughs> in in what way, sorry? Generally, either this Generally. season or in, in total. Um, my goal is I, I love football. I love playing it, um, but I, I love more about this side of it, uh, the technical side of it, the, the mind games, all, all that side of it. So my goal is to be able to come to someone that is, is able to bring clubs like Crawley up and be known as bringing exciting football, um, bringing people together and bringing the best out of people. Um, what style of football do you think you will favour? Style of football, that's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting one because there's a lot of people out there that have their own ideas about football. Uh, but again, I'm a, I'm a very attacking player. I'm a very, I've got a very attacking mind. Um, I'm fully aware that there's also defending involved in the game. So uh, there, there's, there's, there's going to be a mixture. I mean, um, I was a very versatile I'm a very versatile person, so I can adapt. Um, so yeah, but if you want to nail it down to one kind of way, it'll be you know, attacking, attacking style play. And would you ever consider uh, actually playing for Crawley? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I gave up my, my career. Um, I had a wonderful career as a footballer and I thoroughly enjoyed my career. But I take this job serious. Um, you know, I, I will put my heart and soul into into Crawley, into making the players um, better players, because that's that's what it's uh, what it's about. You, you get better players, you get better results. Um, so for me, no, I'm fully concentrated on my managerial career and helping Crawley uh, get back to where they should be long, uh, belong. Have you had a chance to assess the squad yet? Uh, briefly. Uh, we, we talk virtually every day, me and Salim, about the squad. Uh, I understand recruitment is very big at the moment, but my player profiling at the moment, I'm excited. I have to say there's um, some real talent there. Um, and even though, even with the, the new signing of Danny Bowman, uh, I've seen him and it's excellent, you know, reviews of what I've, I've received from him, especially uh, the amount of games he played and the fact that age is only a number is perfect for me but again with the with the experience and the the uh the youth in the team as well i'm i'm excited and i believe that this team has got a lot of potential part of the criticism of the last manager was there was a lack of emotion on the sidelines what <laughs> what are you like on the sidelines you'll see <laughs> you'll see uh, i like, like i said i'm very passionate uh, i believe in what i do um, and i'm not a I'm not afraid to show my emotions um, I may step the line, I may overstep the line sometimes, but I will know my, my boundaries. But again, I'm, I'm very emotional. Where, where would you look for new players? Would, you, would they be existing league players out from outside the country, or where do you think? Look, again, we're, we're working very closely. Uh, Warren, uh, Slim and myself and, and uh, the board of directors 
and again, we're ambitious. You know, I don't think we're going to be locked down into one certain area. Um, we've got experience here. Um, so we're happy to, to look and find out what the best option is for us uh, in the quality team. Yeah, thank you. I wondered, um, have you uh, known Warren Feeney before, or is this, have you, where did you first uh, come across him? Well, me and Warren grew up together um, throughout Leeds, uh, so we always, we always knew and we always we kind of bonded a, a friendship back then and it's very rare in football that you kind of uh, stick together so we've always kept in contact but we let's let's make no mistake we both know what was at stake what's at stake here we both know that it's an opportunity to work with a club like Crawley so we understand uh, what's needed but again um, I, I was asked to bring someone in. Um, I feel he's got the experience in, in areas that I don't have uh, on and off the field. So that's what I look for because um, I'm not going to sit here and go, I know everything. Um, so again, this is why I, I bring someone like him because he has a, he's a, a mind of his own, which I like. And again, he's not afraid to speak his mind. And I also need that as well as um, someone that can, you know, help me as well. So again, that's the reason why I brought him in. What did you learn from your time at Watford? Well, I learned how to uh, prepare. I learned how to, to work harder. I, because the one thing, especially at Watford, is you can prepare everything and then that can just get thrown out the window in the last minute. So I have to learn to adapt. So the one thing I did learn there is how to adapt. Um, so I'm not afraid to, to change things around. So if something happens here and things are not, you know, going smoothly or things are not, you know, running uh, great, I can I can change it and I can adapt. So that's the one thing I learned. But again, I also learned how to communicate. Also learn how to to coach in, in in a certain way. You know, again, it's all about um, knowing your players, getting to know them, and getting the best out of them. How many new players do you think might be needed? <laughs> Depends on what your thoughts are before the pre-season and during the pre-season. Accordingly from that, we could all go together and secure the best with his system, Mr. Fiend, as well. And are you happy with the budget? Have you discussed budgets in there? Again, budgets, you know, a, a lot of people talk about the budget. Um, again, I'm a, I'm a football person where I feel I can uh, get the best out of players. You know, a lot of people are, are quick to criticise and quick to look, oh, well, we need this, we need that. You know, first and foremost, have a look at what you got. And like I said, from my first look, uh, first impressions are, are big to me. And what I've seen, I'm happy with, and I'm happy to work with. Um, I see a lot of energy, and I, sort of, I see a lot of enthusiasm, and I hear a lot of good things. So again, for me, I'm, I'm excited to work with these proper players. If we can bring one or two more players in, great. If not, there's no problem for me.